Alright guys, I'm back. Again, new to the video thing, so take it easy on me. We've got the SoundAware Esther M1. I'm going to walk through some of the user interface features now. It's pretty simple. GUI. It's effective and it gets the job done, but it's certainly not feature-rich like you'd find in an Astell and Kern or the Fio X7 I recently tested, or even some of the older Fio models like the X5 and the X3 or um, anyway I've tested quite a few dApps and this one's a pretty simple user interface let's just leave it at that I'm going to turn it on right now this is just like you'd get it out of the box pretty much see it comes on pretty quickly just hold down that button for a couple of seconds um, it comes with a smart power off feature which is a lot like the deep sleep feature you'd get in other players enabled out of the box so it comes on pretty quickly let's just scroll through what you get here you have settings got the upgrade got the info or about now playing you have a list of recent tracks you can favorite things and they'll show up here so kind of like a single playlist storage so just get right into those dual SD cards that you've got in installed and your music library which is the tag browser so if we go into the menu just push the play pause button to get in and you can either scroll down through these singly up or down or you can use the forward button to skip down several options and, and the back button to skip back so it's pretty pretty fast it's not like using a scroll wheel um, and you can't actually hold down on this down button to keep going through you have to actually click each time to go through so that's why they enabled the forward button to scan to go up and down quickly through the list so what do you got language backlight brightness build your music database turntable mode this was something that's confusing to a lot of people uh, confused me. I didn't understand what it was. It turns out this is actually just a dedicated coaxial out mode, so enable that and all of the analog outs are shut down so you get a cleaner signal through the coax out. You have the power off option, so you can go in there and you can say you either want to shut it down completely or use the um, use the deep sleep option, which they call smart, smart power off and fade I haven't quite figured this out yet if you have fade on then tracks seem to flow very nicely from one to the other if you have the fade off then it seems like about I don't know, a fraction of a second is truncated off of the song that you're skipping to I don't understand I just don't understand what's going on there and I think other Esther users don't quite understand I'm having a conversation with Soundware right now trying to figure that out well oh, just went into power save mode there screen off decoder option so you can set uh, fast or slow roll off for the DAC and voice options that's just low medium or high gain and also left right channel balance so you can go in there and set those various options if you like let's go back to the main menu uh, if you go into upgrade, you can either force recovery, which is basically a factory reset, or you can upgrade the firmware. About, you know, just tells you about your player, what version of the firmware you're running, how much space you got on the cards, etc. Um, now playing screen, if we go there, you'll just see I'm not playing anything, so it's empty. Recent list, bunch of songs that I've played recently. You can just get right back into any song that you want to. Favorites. I don't think I've favorited anything because I don't care about that. My SD card. Uh, looks like kind of like a Linux distribution and I when I uh, installed the firmware recently and or sorry when I upgraded the firmware recently it actually is a custom Linux build so that's why it's using the SD0 and SD1 so you Linux nerds out there will recognize those probably <clears throat> music library so again you got album genre artist and all music 
and then you're right back at the settings. Probably most of you guys care about things like music library. Let's go in there. Album makes sense. It's just a list of albums, and it's in order of of um, special characters, and then you got numbers, and then you have alphabetized list. Pretty standard. Go down to genre. It's like I haven't gotten this to work, even though I've gotten, or I have genre tags on all my songs. I don't understand why the genre won't show up, or nothing shows up in genre. I'm going to contact Soundware about that soon. What else? So we've got the artist, and this is very simple. I've got, let's see, here's something where I've got quite a few albums by the artist. Ah, uh, Tecker, love them go in there and what you see is they're all laid out in order by album but you don't actually get the album layer you just get lots of songs in order by the album but they're just in a big list which I, I'm, I'm going to contact uh, or actually I already have suggested to Soundware that they add an album layer in here so you don't just have a giant list of songs and all music, that's if you want to go in and just shuffle everything again, it's just going to be all of your music. And I believe it's uh, in order by album, actually, instead of just in order of all the ones, all the twos, all the threes, like you'd get on other dApps I've used, which is it's interesting. It's a different way of doing things. So let's back out. Actually, let me get back in here because if you if you drill down, one thing you can do is just push the menu button any time to get back to your main uh, to get back to the main menu, which is cool. So let's go to storage. Again, this is all pretty normal. I've got this as a testing card stuck in there, so it's got a format layer. You know, but you can go in. You can see that I've got all my artists. If I go into Odd Tecker here, you can see I've got them all organized by year and album title. This is all pretty standard. We start playing something. And there we go. Here is your main playing screen. <coughs> and you can see on the top bar, it tells me that I'm playing. And over on the right side, I've got it in high gain and I've got 60% of my battery life left. Just along the top of the now playing screen, I can see it's playing. If I pause it, both of those switches, we've got redundancy there, which I'm going to suggest they remove. We've got the artist, and down below we've got the song, and it's actually the scroll or it switches between artist and the album up at the top. Oh, I actually got that wrong. This is the song and the artist and then down here is the album. I'm not quite sure. I think the song should be down below and this should toggle between artist and album. That would just be my preference. You got play mode at the top. If you go in and push the um, bottom button you can check, toggle between all the different play modes and then along the bottom it gives you some file information and I like this because it tells me which track I'm on and how many more tracks are left. And then, of course, you got the <clears throat> time display along the bottom. If you push the up button, it changes into a simple display mode where you lose a lot of that information. But if I had album art here, you could see it. And um, that's about it. You know, back, forward, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty self explanatory. I'm going to back out to the menu. Let's see, I'm going to. I should have just gone back one layer. I'm going to go find an album. Hmm. So let's go down here. I'm pretty sure that this album has some album art on it. Let's check and see. No. Let's go back. I know I was just playing one that had album art. Oh, I know what it was. There we go. Aha, there we go. So now we can see some album art. So, as you can tell, Soundaware's gig is that they like to display the, the vinyl. You know, it's the background, and then in the middle it's supposed to look like you have a little record inside there. If you have something with light album art, then it's hard to see the white text on it. If you have something with dark album art, it'd be much easier. I'm, personally, I'd rather you just see the whole 
display filled up with album art like this uh, I'm sorry like this mode that's nicer I usually use that one I don't use the other mode very much and what else do you have here let's see so I just jump back to the to the main menu hit that main menu button again now you get back to the playing screen not sure why it just jumped to that. Let's see if it does that again. Jump out, jump back, it defaults to that. So that looks like a bug that I will let Soundware know about. Um, trying to think what else you get here. Um, volume, I guess I could show you that. So you can either click the volume down one by one here, like up or down. You get a little volume overlay that pops up. Or you can hold it down, and after a little bit, it just starts going down in increments of two volume steps. And, you know, it goes fairly quickly, not too bad. You can get up or down. And one thing I really like about this DAP is that you do have a low, medium, and high gain mode on it. And in the low gain mode, you can really make good use of the DAC in this guy. You can crank that volume way up because the gain is very low on low gain. Um, I'm typically using low gain on other DAPs and, um, you know, I can crank them up to maybe 40 out of 120 on the, vol on the volume steps. And on this guy, I can crank it up to usually around, oh, 60 to 80 on low gain, so out of 100. So you're really making good use of that DAC by cranking the volume up. Um... I don't know if there's too much else to show you. I can just power it off, and I think you've seen most of the features now. So let's power it off. Goes into shutdown mode. If I were to actually power it off, it would have said power off there. And then <clears throat> if it were powered off for real, it would take probably about 10 seconds to boot up. It does take quite a while. So the smart, the smart power off option is great on this thing. Okay, so that was my quick tour. Maybe it wasn't quite so quick, but relatively quick tour of the Soundware Esther M1. And I'll get better at this video thing. That was all just off the cuff. So for, forgive my few verbal faux pas there. And um, yeah, that's it. See you later, guys.